Christina from Mommy and Bobby, and we're making baby food. Today on the show, we are pureeing some apples. One of the first foods you might start your baby on when they're starting solids, along with sweet potato or pear. Um, apples are a good choice as well. All right, now in making apple baby puree, so simple. All we do is wash them. We just wash these ones. Um, we just have to core them, chop them up, just basically quarter and peel them. Get them on the stove and ready to go. All right, so let's get started. simple. Peel them, core them, quarter them. Basically you have four of these, you're all set. Do that with everything. Now making baby food, very simple today. All we're using is our simple pot. We'll put some water in. Just a little on the bottom for steaming. We've got a filter on this, um, this tap here. If your baby's just starting solids, you do want to use more of a purified water or you can even boil your, boil your kettle and use cooled boiled water for steaming. That's fine too. Simple stainless steel steaming basket, pop that in there. Your apples, we're ready to go. Okay, so our apples have been steamed. Let me just get my fork. Just make sure they're nice and soft, perfect. Yep, they don't have to be too soft, just a bit firm, as long as you can puree them. Okay, so in here, this is just a pot. We've got a steamer basket in there. We're going to use the same pot for pureeing, just to save on dishes and save time. So what we need to do is reserve some of this cooking water to use to get a nice consistency of our puree. You simply use the water um, that you used for steaming. That should be more than enough, and oh, and we'll drain the rest. There's just a little bit in there. There we go. And then we simply tip the apples right into the pot. Just grab one of our solid starter kit baby food freezing trays. We'll pop these into the tray and put them in the freezer. There we go. These trays are just fantastic. You get two of these premium baby food freezing trays in the solid starter kit. You also get our recipe e-guide, which is a free download from mummyandbubby.com. Help get you started. So let's just Pop these in there. The apple puree, it just smells so delicious. Like fresh, just fresh pureed apples. Nothing more, nothing less. That's the beauty of making your own homemade baby food. You know exactly what goes into it. There you go. So we did five apples. These are quite large apples. You can see there. I'm going to try not to overfill the cubes too much. There you go. And just take some out of there. So we've got a couple portions left here. Um, baby can have this right away. You can even just put this in a covered container in your fridge. Um, oh, it'll be good for a couple of days in the fridge. So you've got some there too. Also excellent, anyone can have um, some lovely apple puree on their cereal. Beautiful. There we go. Pop the lid on and it's ready for the freezer. 